Prehistory by Mr. Amster. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter, just in case. Key vocabulary. Prehistory. That is the time before written history, before writing. Historians, recorders of the past. The first question they ask is, what happened in the past? They're, 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 they're solving a mystery. They're detectives. Archaeology. Notice how there is an A in parentheses. You can spell it either way, but just be sure you're consistent. They study the past cultures and people through the artifact, through the objects they leave behind. They go to a site, they dig, they get dirty, they figure out what went on. What did these artifacts look like? How did these people live? The site. Any place that contains remains of human activity. Excavation. The process of removing artifacts from the ground. It's the second part of the archaeological method. And although it's probably the most popular, it takes the least amount of time. Artifacts. An object made or used by people in the past. Remember the basket. When the archaeologist finds it, he turns it over to the anthropologist where they ask questions. Why did they make this basket? Why did they paint it this way? What are these designs to rep representing? These are questions you constantly have to ask. A ritual. A ceremony for a specific purpose. Rituals are as old as time. Today, yes, we have ones that can hold less meaning, like birthdays. They don't have much religious significance behind them. But for many thousands of years, weddings and all these other ceremonies, coming of age, were dramatic events for them that would spend days discovering. Anthropologists, they focus on human society and its development. They analyze the artifacts. They solve that mystery. They try to figure out how the society acted. Fossils, traces of plants or animals preserved in rock. It allows people to figure out what lived around them. Did they hunt them? Did they train them? What plants could they eat? What was part of their diet? A shard, a broken piece of pottery found during excavation. It's like a puzzle piece. Can you put the puzzle back together? Take a moment and please highlight the key words from prehistory all the way down to shard. From dinosaurs to humans. That's a, life, that's a span of over 60 million years. The average temperature drops on Earth almost 15 degrees. Now today, dropping 15 degrees doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But that's every day, 15 degrees colder on average. That's a dramatic change. And it, what it did was it allowed for the early hominids to begin to be able to walk the earth. Now, how do we know about life before writing? Things haven't changed for thousands of years. People will tell us. Think Twitter. People always are telling you what's going on. Now, these paintings were found in caves dating back thousands, millions of years, and we're always finding older ones. Now, humans themselves are rarely drawn. Why? Because that wasn't what was important to them. They drew them as stick figures below the head. The animals were more realistic because that's what they cared about. Food. How are they going to eat? Food and water was all they needed to survive. These paintings leave a lot of clues about life before writing. Nearby animals. What did they hunt? What did they use to hunt? 
How did these people hunt? Did they throw spears, bows and arrows? Did they throw rocks at them? Did they charge wildly at them with a small knife? Did they hunt in groups or by themselves? It shows their behavior, their clothes. Was this a warm climate or was it cold? And it showed their rituals, how they prepared for battle, hunts, marriage, etc., coming of age. And these caves provided us artifacts. We found lamps. We learned later that they burned animal fat. Bits of rope. They made traps. They were able to figure out ways to use ropes in different ways to make nets. And we found out how they used for painting and engraving. What rocks, chalk, mud, and clay they used. It's all part of the mystery. The end.